9 tricks to survive 9 different wild animals attacks Observing animals in the wild can be a great experience, but an encounter with a wild animal can turn dangerous quickly. Many wild animals in the forest will attack humans if provoked. The best way to avoid an attack from a forest animal is to leave them alone. However, if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, there are some tricks you can use to escape and get to safety. In this video, we will be sharing with you 9 tricks to survive wild animals attacks. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. How to survive bears attacks First off, let's make it clear that every single bear out in the wilderness is dangerous, no matter what or how innocent he looks. Bears enjoy eating and they aren't particular when it comes to meals, and they will find whatever they have to in order to survive. The worst possible thing you can do when around a bear is to surprise them. If a bear finds its way into your campsite, take a split second to make an educated decision as to your next move. Whatever you do, do not run or make any sudden movements because this could cause the bear to get nervous and attack. This is what you should do. First, Stay as far away as you can. Then, find the closest, loudest things you have in camp and start banging them together. If you have pots and pans nearby, those will work just fine. Next, wave your arms above your head and do everything you can to make yourself appear much larger in front of the bear. Find any escape route to follow so that you don't have to pass the bear to get away. And once you go away, Find somewhere upwind from the bear to go. That way, you can have a better chance of surviving in any bear attack. Number 2. How to survive wolf attacks Wolf attacks are among the rarest in this list, but are also among the most dangerous. This is because if you run into a wolf in the wild, you will likely face more than just one. Fighting off a lone wolf is already dangerous enough but a pack of the predators is a force to be reckoned with. This is what you can do. If you see a wolf but it doesn't see you, walk away silently. Unlike with bears, you do not want a wolf to know you are in the area. If it notices you, avoid eye contact or baring your teeth. These will be seen by the wolf as a sign of aggression. Continue to back away slowly without turning your back on it. Some experts advise showing submission by lowering your head and bowing slightly, but other experts say that wolves can misinterpret this as fear. If the wolf begins snarling or snapping its jaws, shout at it, make yourself look as big as possible, and throw rocks at it. In the event of an attack, do not fight back unless absolutely necessary. Wolves are powerful animals and even a small pack is more than enough to handle you. Instead, try curling into fetal position and covering your head and neck. You may not be able to leave unscatched, but hopefully the wolves will leave you alone after a few bites. If the wolves continue to attack, fight back. Like with most animals, the most effective places to hit wolves are the face and nose. Number 3. How to Survive Alligator Attacks Despite their fearsome reputations, Alligators are generally shy of people and may try to escape if encountered. That being said, never mistake one of these large reptiles for being slow. They may have been sitting in that pond for the last 10 hours, but when they decide to get somewhere in a hurry, they do. Alligators can run upwards of 35 miles per hour and can catch many people unawares. Thankfully, they rarely ever chase humans. What you should do if you encounter an alligator is stay far away as possible. If you are on land, try to leave as quickly as you can. If it tries to attack you, run in a straight line away from the animal. Alligators are not usually pursued predators and have little endurance for long chases. The myth of running in a zigzag pattern to fool the alligator is exactly that, a myth. Avoid doing this. If you are in water, do not panic. 
Splashing or yelling only serves to make the alligator more interested in you since that is what their prey does. Swim under the water's surface to minimize noise and try to reach shore. If the animal manages to grab you, forget trying to pry its powerful jaws open. Instead, try attacking its eyes. The alligator may lose interest and let you go if injured. Number 4. How to avoid snake attacks There are plenty of venomous snakes in the wild, but by far the most dangerous are rattlesnakes. Once again, the best way to avoid putting yourself in harm's way is proper preparation. Learn how to identify dangerous snakes and where they live, what time of the day they are most active and keep an eye out for local advisories. Make a lot of noise when traveling so the snake is not surprised by your presence. What should you do? If you encounter a rattlesnake, freeze, locate the snake and move away slowly with no sudden movements. It's really as simple as that. If you are bitten, remain calm and call for help. Avoid moving much if possible and keep the bite wound at or below heart level. Remove any constrictive clothing and clean the wound. Apply a loose bandage in the wound if possible but avoid cutting off circulation. If left concentrated, the venom can result in severe tissue damage. Try to get to a hospital as soon as you can. Do not attempt to extract the venom using your mouth. If you are bitten and cannot summon help, follow all the above steps and attempt to reach help as fast as possible. Some experts do suggest using the controversial method of sucking out venom with your mouth, but only if you are too far away from assistance and your mouth is free of cuts and sores. A venom suction device may be more useful in this regard. Number 5. How to Survive Lion Attacks There are few things as unnerving as being stalked by a mountain lion, but the real trouble starts when the cat shows itself. Cougars are the largest of the wild cats and it is not unknown for these animals to stalk and attack humans, especially hunters carrying meat. What should you do? If you encounter a cougar, stand your ground and identify yourself by speaking loudly and waving your arms. You want to make sure the cougar understands you are not a prey. Throw rocks and sticks at the cat. Make yourself appear large and dangerous. If the cougar approaches you, Begin backing away slowly without turning away. Running will only make the cougar want to chase you. In the rare event that it attacks you, fight back as aggressively as possible. Small cougars can be fought off by striking it in the face, but larger cats may be much more dangerous. Once again, use whatever weapon you have to fend the animal off. Cougars may target the younger or smaller members of your group. Try lifting them off the ground so they appear larger. Number 6. How to Survive Shark Attacks Shark attacks on humans are extremely rare. In fact, you are more likely to die as a result of a meteor impact than a shark attack. But should it ever happen, then knowing what to do can mean the difference between life and death. Sharks don't find humans particularly tasty but they might still attack if they mistake you for a tuna. If they are circling you, they may go in for an investigatory bite. They might bump you one time. That's an investigatory bite, Mark Welch said. They want to see what you are before they want to invest. But if a shark does go into attack mode, you can fight them off by striking them in the nose or eye. Remove any shiny jewelry or any bright colors as they serve as a magnet for a hungry shark. Stay out of the water if you have any open wounds or bleeding from any part of your body. Stay in groups as a shark is more likely to target a lone individual. Number 7. How to Survive Crocodile Attacks Crocodiles are extraordinary creatures surviving virtually unchanged for millions of years. But they are one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. They have little fear of anything. Basically, they go for anything that falls into the water. They never discriminate between preys. Almost every crocodile attack occurs during the rainy season 
when the huge fast-flowing rivers are swollen by the heavy rains. If you are attacked by a crocodile, then there is very little you can do. Swim straight for shore underwater using breaststroke if possible. Don't splash or make noise because that's what most of their prey do. Obviously, you will initially feel shock but if you have enough presence of mind then try to gorge its eyes out with a free limb. Number 8. How to Survive Yellow Jackets Attacks These predatory wasps may be the smallest animals in this list but that does not mean that they are the least dangerous. They are also attracted to the sugary drinks we humans love. If you encounter yellow jackets, move slowly and stay calm. Do not antagonize the insects if possible. Killing a yellow jacket may cause others in the area to attack you and unlike bees, yellow jackets can sting you multiple times. If you leave slowly without agitating them, they may let you go peacefully. What should you do? If you are being stung by multiple wasps, simply run in as fast as you can. There have been reports that running into water may not help. If you are close enough to their nest, yellow jackets may simply wait until you come out. Instead, try simply outrunning the box. They do not want to chase you across half the state after all. Number 9. How to Survive Coyote's Attack Coyotes are not generally thought as dangerous creatures but you have a better chance of running into them than most of the other predators on this list. These small animals are generally easy to deal with and should not present much of a problem. What should you do? If you encounter a coyote's attack, keep your distance and observe the animal's movements. Coyotes typically avoid larger predators including humans. If it approaches you, try hazing it by clapping your hands speaking loudly or throwing rocks at it. Make yourself appear larger and wave your arms to intimidate it. If it continues to attack, back away slowly without turning away. If attacked, fight back. Coyotes are small predators and can be easily injured so they will rarely seek a fight especially if it's not in their favor. You enjoyed this video, didn't you? We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next but before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we have picked for you to enjoy next. We love you.